Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on November 23rd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything else affecting humanity. Looking at our sun the last 48 hours. Large plasma filament directing from the southwestern limb there. It did produce a CME. Not in an earth-facing position. Right now we're being affected by the coronal hole wind stream. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. We've got a cresting bright region there. Just ahead of that plasma that erected from the CME. Coronal mass ejection. And as well look on the right side. A little bit of cresting activity as well. Looking at outgoing. A little bit of earth to scale imagery as well. Pretty quiet in the outgoing position. The CME that shot off today. We'll show you in just a moment right there. Pretty much that plasma that was leaving the sun. That is the coronal mass ejection. And you'll see it here with the Lasco 2 and 3 when it comes up. Looking at multi-spectrum here. Still observing a pretty large plasma filament connected in the southern region. Another one just behind that, and as well another coronal hole getting ready to come into the Earth-facing position. So pretty intense sun right now, but not much thwarted our way, keeping an eye, a close eye on our sun. Solar X-ray flux is just about into the B-flare range. KP index is low geomagnetic activity remains low real-time solar wind sitting at about 489 kilometers per second after being pretty jagged throughout the day here topped up i think at about 577 kilometers per second 558 looking at lasco 2 n3 the last 24 hours Bottom left-hand side is where that CME shot out from. Another quick look here. Quite a bit of plasma associated with this event. And as well, you can see it reaching all along the bottom part of the disc there. Here at Iswa, you can see it shot off right in between Venus and Mercury. Venus now coming in for a transit with Earth. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 29, a healthy spike there today. 29 slash 29. Quality of 8.3, 8.8. Amplitude of 29. Have a quick look at earthquakes around the world. We're going to start out in a very busy Idaho. That's right, the day started off with a 4.0 and still seeing minor activity through the region. 3.0, 2.7 range. But definitely the Sawtooth Mountain range through Idaho has been pretty active the last 12 months, really. I've been keeping an eye on that. Looking at a small earthquake here to report in Bandon, Oregon. 3.1 earthquake here in Weber, Kansas. Five kilometer depth, pretty rare earthquake for the region. As well, activity still going on here in the Gulf of California, La Libertad, Mexico. Down through Central America, where I had warned last video, definitely saw some activity here. El Salvador, 5.4, 49 kilometer depth today. As well, Panama, I was seeing some earthquakes. Dominican Republic, 3.8. And as well, 3.7 Santa Cruz Bay, U.S. Panama here with a 4.8. And as well, a 4.9 Jacao, Panama. Further south there into Ecuador as well with a 4.9 at a 5 kilometer depth. And now quiet through South America. Rare earthquake to report here as well. North coast of Greenland reporting a 5.2 earthquake at a 10 kilometer depth 
There has not been many earthquakes there through the North Pole, but we do report them every time. As well, a 5.3 here. This is the largest today reported just south of Madagascar, the Indian Antarctic Plate. Indian Plate seeing minor activity as well. Nothing major to report. Then we get over to the Pacific Rim, the west side of the Ring of Fire. And through Indonesia, we did see some pretty deep earthquakes today. 108 kilometers there, 288 kilometers there. Shallow through Papua New Guinea, three volcanoes through that region. And then we get over to Fiji here where we've got the deep 483 kilometer depth at a 4.4 and as well a 4.5, 527 kilometer depth. So that's the deepest the last 24 hours. As well, south of Australian plate, 4.6 here, Indian Antarctic Ridge. So yeah, Indian and Antarctic ridges acting up and as well into the North American plate. Kamchatka seeing some activity today as well. Russia, 4.2, 4.8, 4.6. 4 Down into Japan, 1 to report at Kamashi, Japan, a 4.8. Quiet through the rest of the region, surprisingly. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Have a quick look at the last seven days. Around the world we go. And we've seen the increased activity come back to North America. As of late. Well, with all of the increased solar wind speeds that we've seen. CMEs. Volcanic activity. La Palma. I want to thank everybody for watching today. Please stay aware and prepare to just have a plan. Maybe have a bug out bag with all of your first aid kits and everything you need. Only the essentials. It's all about staying aware and prepared. You never know when a disaster can strike. Much love and prayers for humanity. Let's have a look at satellite Im imagery as well. All of the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at Reventador in Ecuador. A few alerts coming from Re Reventador today that I had noticed. As well, Nevados to Chilean in Colombia, Sangue in Ecuador, Sabincaya in Peru, Nevados to Chilean in Colombia, Fuego, La Palma. A lot of storms being reported today. Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Simaru, Indonesia. And as well, the volcano volcano in Italy, right in between Stromboli and Etna, which I've been monitoring and reported last volcano and planetary report. Stay tuned for the next one coming up week 47, I believe. No, week 46. Planetary report and as well volcanic activity. Looking here at the long atmospheric river. Satellite imagery showing this long line of moisture stretching right across the United States coast, up into the Atlantic provinces. And that thing is stretching from Jamaica all the way up to Greenland, the North Pole. Something is definitely off here. Please share the videos. Morning Dew is here for you. It really helps when you guys share. That last video, I'm sure about 50 to 100 people shared. And that's why it got so many views. It makes such a difference when we share this very important information very vigorous storms still coming through the pacific watching for storms to come into the bc coast and alaska and as well some very very cold temperatures are going to be fueling down here in the long range and it's going to drastically change our northern hemisphere seasons which it should be we're right around the corner from winter Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and as well daily events. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, where, yeah, people are starting to grab their winter coats and their toques and their boots. Not quite ready for the boots, but the toques and the hats, yes, it got cold. Minus three overnight tonight, maybe minus eight in the long-range forecast here. 
just after a system comes through with some more warm temperatures. Western Canada, you've got an Alberta clipper that's going to be heading through central prairies and through Manitoba, northern Ontario. And then we've got this big low pressure system off the coast of BC and Alaska. And then another one coming into the coastline right into Vancouver. Not good. Very dangerous situation unfolding across the upper northwest North American Rockies. Big low pressure system as well on the east coast overlooking the Atlantic. You can see it sucks up that large low that was in the middle of the Atlantic forecasted a couple days ago. And sure enough, in this forecast, it will be thwarted northward. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system through the Mediterranean is going to end up pulling down another low pressure system through the United Kingdom in the long range. But the cold temperatures are going to be coming with it. Mostly higher elevations, but watch for the cool down to start through Europe. It's already started through eastern parts, borderline with Russia. It's been cold, double, minus double digit cold for a couple weeks now. Overlooking Russia and the extreme freezing temperatures that are starting to build across the land. And watch that high pressure ridge, those red circles just above there. That's where all of the cold temperatures are going to be funneled around to Canada. Overlooking Southeast Asia, India, still got a low pressure system spinning over Sri Lanka and southern parts of India, and as well a low pressure system heading into Thailand this week. Low pressure center hanging out over the Philippines. And we've also got this extreme weather event happening across Australia. Looks like it'll be clearing out by possibly Sunday, but all week long you've got that low pressure center tracking eastward and then New Zealand you've got a high pressure ridge hanging out till about Thursday and then you can watch all of that long line of moisture heading towards you quick look over the Pacific no major weather systems heading towards Hawaii but look at the size of this system heading through the West Pacific right now boy oh boy Boy, oh boy, that's a big one, boys and girls. And they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. If you were to look at older videos, these things are getting bigger. More organized. More moisture. Atmospheric compression events. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy later in the week here th towards Chile, Argentina. Other than that, no major weather systems. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains through southern parts, and then watch for a low pressure center here to come in through parts of the Nambia Desert, right through Cape Town, coastal regions there. You could see some extreme weather, very strong winds with that low pressure. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, showing you the low pressure centers spinning around our planet. And as well, we'll be pointing out in the Northern Hemisphere the long atmospheric line of moisture stretching from Jamaica to Greenland. I've never seen these maps do this before. Something is off. Something is wrong. Our new North Pole is sitting way over by Russia. Please share this, vi this video with your friends and family. Much love to you all. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Please share. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.